Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukakradash. I'm from the prophets in Babylon, out of the Waco, Texas camp, under the branch of prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyak Napash. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders of the apostles at Great Millstone. From the, the elder apostles on down, those brothers who teach well and who rule well. And a great example to us brothers out here. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today is um, we were chosen to do a work. And, um, you know, um, this basically, um, we was in camp last Saturday and, you know, me and the beloved brother Taziar, we were talking and we were, um, you're saying we got on we kind of a various topics camp and um you know the the this subject came up you know and you know we were basically chosen to do this work and what a privilege and an honor to be out here and to glorify the heavenly father and his son you know, by going out, you know, and doing the ministry, you know. Um, it's, it's such a privilege and an honor to do this, you know. And um, at the same time, you know, this is something that we were commissioned to do, you know, because, you know, the scriptures say that men's goings of the way of the Lord, you know? Um, so I'm going to get into it. And I was going into uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5. You know, um, this is Jeremiah and the Most High talking. And at the time, you know, Jeremiah was young, you know. But Jeremiah was, um, had a calling, and that was to do, was to preach this gospel of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, you know. And, and as I say again, men's goings of the way of the Lord. And this is what, you know, the Lord said unto Jer Jeremiah, you know. Before I formed thee, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I, I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Yeah, so Jeremiah's calling was to do, was to be a prophet, you know? And, um, you know, that was his destiny, you know? And you brothers, you know, who, who are sincere in doing this work, you know, this is what you was commissioned to do, you know? And Lord willing, you do this all the way into the end, you know? With a sincere heart.
John 15 and 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, in doing this work, you know, people see there's something, there's a different aura about you, you know. They see there's something different about you. You know, you, you know, um, you've grown a beard. You know, a lot of the things that you was doing in the world, you stopped doing. You know, you're not around the people that you used to be around. You know, and a lot of times these people that that were around you, a lot of them have fell off, you know, don't come around you. And it wasn't necessarily that um, you, you did something to them. You know, here's the thing. When the Lord, how about show me how a shot chooses you, you know, which something which is already preordained. Uh, the Lord will take certain people out of your life. You know, you may have not have done anything to uh, for that to happen. The Lord can just take certain people out of your life, you know, and that's a blessing, you know, because if that Lord, if the Lord is choosing you, those type of things happen, you know. And, and at, the, at the end of the day, a lot of times these people who have been around you or still try to come around you, they see something different about you because sometimes people stop coming around and then you have some people who still come around or come around, but they notice the change. You know, they, they notice you've grown a beard or you, talk, you speak in a different way. Some of the things that you believed in when you were in the world, you got away from those type of thoughts, you know? So it resonates with these people. And see, these people have a lot of wicked spirits on them, you know? And um, being that they have those kind of spirits on them, you know, um, they they see your spirit is different from theirs, you know? So some of them don't want to come around you, you know? And like I say again, a lot of times, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai just takes those people out of there. You know, it's not necessarily they see that you've made these changes, you know. It's just that the Lord has took those people out of your life, you know, because he was preparing you for greater things, which is to go out here and do these do this work, you know. You know, um, which is to wake up the elect, you know. And, you know, Lord willing, we pray that we are those men, you know, and we pray that, 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 you know, that we, we endure to the end. You know, we, 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 we pray for our other fellow brothers, you know, as well as ourselves, you know, to make it all the way through, you know, um, John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he give it to you. He may give it you, you know. So, um, you know, those are, um, that's, that's, what we're striving for because at the end of the day we're striving for those crowns we see something bigger out here. we see something bigger you know your mind turns more spiritual you know you your mind reflects on the spiritual things not so much as the um the the things that that's of this world you know because we know that these things that's of the world is it's it's only for a short time you know you know, we're we're seeking eternal glory, you know.
And um, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to be a part of something like this, you know. And, you know, it's, again, it's, you know, it's a privilege and an honor to go out and, and, and preach this word, man. It's, it's you know, it, it makes, you know, the more and more you do it, it's like the more and more you are excited to, to go and do this, man. Here you get the, you've learned things that you had never learned before because we've all come from a background that didn't teach this, teach us these things, you know? We didn't know, you know? We didn't know that we were um, a special people unto to Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. We didn't know these things, you know? But now that we do, you know, it's an exciting thing, you know? So now that we know these things, you know, we want to continue on in the things that that we have been learning and been have been taught, you know. Here's another scripture, Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah, so we're looking for to get to endure. You know, we pray that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai gives us the strength to endure it until the end so we can be saved. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, so. Again, you know, continue on in the things learned. And how we do that is seeking, you know, first this kingdom. And his righteousness, you know, the, the righteousness of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and all these other things will be added to us, you know. So, because at the end of the day, everything that's out here, it's about to pass away, you know. The old, the, the this way of life, you know, going going back and forth to work every day and. You know, and, and, and living this life we live in, you know, it's going to be changed. You know, um, I remember Elder, the beloved brother, Elder Apostle Hart said, you know, we're, this is like being here is like being in a bad dream. But, you know, knowing that our deliverance is near, you know, we want to continue on in the things you know, we want to keep on seeking first this kingdom. And the way we do that is continue praying, fasting, praying to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, first and foremost. Um, fasting, you know, doing videos, of course, uh, um, going to camp. You know, this is this is this is how we keep the spirit of of, of Yahweh Bashem upon us, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah upon us, you know. So, Lord willing, I hope this was edifying to you, brothers and you few sisters out here. And once again, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Until the next time, I say Shalom.